I'm making these little strips. Excuse my hair. I'm desperate for a haircut. I missed my appointment moving house. So I had to make another one Tuesday. This is now Sunday. So anyway, with the uh, crossway quilt I made, I had one and a quarter strips left. So what I'm going to do, I've sewn two, quite a few, and I thought I'd better film this, let you know what I'm doing. So I've sewn two, two pieces together, and I'm going to make them into longer strips, and then sew the long strips together, if you know what I mean, if you understand. I hope I'm making sense. So as I said, I started them, and what I've done is I've got loads and loads of scraps, and um, I'm going to do a whole quilt like this. It's something simple, quick, you know, go together as it goes and uh, I hope you enjoy the process which is pretty simple and the end result more to the point. So all I'm doing is I've trained pieced a whole load of these before I thought it's what, 10 o'clock at night? Hold on, let me look at my computer. Yeah, quarter past ten at night. I know it's just costing a bit of time because I've ain't got enough to do. Quilting wise, nothing else in life. Look at my hair. Uh. So, there's two strips. That's all I've done to snip them off and hopefully random colours and things like that. And I'll just sew them together like that. And that's all that's going to be to it. I might even cut some more. I've got a huge box under the table here. I'm working in my front room now because my bedroom's not quite as big as uh, my previous flat or apartment as you Americans might say. Sounds better for apartment and flat. But we call them flats. Um, so I put my machine in here, but funny enough, previous people, friends have been around, why don't you put your sewing machine in your front room, you know? But if, at that time, I thought I'd feel like I'm living in one room, you know, telly, computer, sewing machine. But yeah, I like it in here. I can listen to the box. I had a television in my other, in my bedroom, but uh, I haven't anymore. My son acquired that when he was up last. And uh, I don't watch it anyway, you know, so, uh, but I like listening to it in the background or music, which I can't do here because copyright with music, isn't it, on YouTube. So that's all I'm going to do. See, right then, give us a sec. We'll have a, we've had a lovely couple of days here in Britain. I'm in the south of England. Um, Really warm, so I sat outside for half an hour or so today. I've lost my pedal. I did live in Scotland for 30 years and married a Scotsman. And when he passed away, I moved back down to England. Not my place of birth, though. So there's two. Can you see it there? Yep. I think this works, this camera, this way. Again, different place, different. Um, see, I've got blue and blue there, so I'm not keen on that. The same blue. I'm just going to make them into and then put long strips. And I uh, hope it's not too boring for you. I'll see how it turns out on the video when I put it all together. Yeah, as I say, I've moved into a new flat and I have a lot of mental health problems in the past and, and this is a better place for me for quite a few reasons that I won't go into. But, yeah. See, I've got two the same there. Don't want them that close. I'll probably end up with them close when they're in the strips, won't I? Great ideas. But that's how I love to work. Just mismatch. <coughs> Excuse me, and um, as we all know, there's so many scraps and that. And another idea, see, look, just thought of this, showing this to you. I'm, I've cut more than enough triangles with that, 
so I've got these triangles. So again, I can make a wee quilt out of that. I have to stop this, get my cup of tea, got a tickle. So, I've got my cup of tea. I'm looking at my weight, but look at this I've got. A box of chocolates and some flowers from a neighbour that I used to live because I used to live the other side of the village. Just put my tea over here before I have it spilled everywhere. So I've had a couple of chocolates. I mustn't eat the whole lot. No bell. Right, so I'll stick these together now and stop coughing. Just little strips. Passes the time away. I was doing my son's quilt. Um, here's a sec. Can't do two things at once. And I'd done a wavy pattern on it, quilting, didn't like it. And done a long, he wanted a sea effect and a long wave. And I didn't like that. So I'm unpicking it. I'll see if I can show you a wee bit of it. It's got a heart in the middle. And kind of flying geese going around in a circle. And he's put these, and we put little palm trees and things. It's, it's like an island, a storm in an island or around an island. Uh, we spent a couple of weeks really doing this last beginning of the year, was it? I can't remember. But yeah, I need to get it quilted for him. I've done a dozen other quilts, but I haven't done his, so. And there I am busy sewing this. Don't tell him. He doesn't watch my videos anyway. It's bad when your children don't watch it. He lives um, a couple of hundred miles away from me. But he's, he comes up quite often like to see me. So he was here just a couple few weeks ago when I moved to help me move in, so and of course he has to do lots of jobs for me. His old mum can't do them anymore. But we do a lot for them, don't we? When they were first born, etc. Right, so see two blues for all that work like that, you know. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, yeah, I love I love working like this. Just free and easy. I don't mind doing a block quilt when um, it's one block all the way through. But doing a sample is a bit different for me, you know. And of course, doing a pattern is you've got to do the pattern right. So I keep looking at my hair at myself there. usually vain but um, as you know if you're a, a subscriber or etc or watched a few of my videos I used to have my hair long and in a bum but so I could it cut because I'm feeling better in myself and I wanted a new look of course I don't know how the stent fitted in so I'll go a new flat new look a new heart I tell you, it's not a new heart a <laughs> stent nothing I'm all right. I like to exaggerate, don't I? So, see, now what I've done here is I've found some fabric. Before I had the idea of doing everything, I was going to have a mishmash of sizes, but then I will cut to one and a half. I'll, I'll sort them out, put them to the side at the moment, because they've not got enough to the side, but. Of course, a lot of this is the Japanese fabric that I had, as I said, I had left over from, uh, I call it crossways um, quilt that I've just finished. I've got to do the borders, it's my latest video. And as I'm sitting here thinking I need two more subscribers for 700, can't believe it. When I got to 100, I thought it was good. Same time, but it's still uh, fine. Oh, 
in a minute. It's just lovely to know people want to watch it or are interested. I would like to make it more relaxed, not continuously. This is how we do this. I like a talk. I like, yeah, I like to talk. You ask like any of my quilting group. Hey, girls. On Friday night, some Friday nights, I say, right, girls, I'll leave them a WhatsApp. None of us, none of them <coughs> speak on a WhatsApp, it's only me. You know, they message, obviously, text. But, um, yeah, I'll say Friday night. Friday night, girls. Disco night. I don't think there's anyone under 60 there. We're getting that way anyway. Yeah, I'll make them laugh. I like to make people laugh. That's it. See, there's a little tiny bit of red there on that one. That's what I've done. No idea how long I'm going to make these. It's all fun. Sitting there, that didn't work very well. Sitting there enjoying my... Not my company, that's a bit... Enjoying company. Like Kate at the last of Homely House, I like her. She's got a YouTube channel if you want to look. Last Homely House. And she has the imagination of well, we're all sitting on a lime green sofa. Wonderful idea, you know. Uh, as if you're in the same sitting room, front room, lounge, whatever we call it. Snip it away. Get a little bit of red in there. Miles of it. Miles. Bits together there. Just to get on one of them. Don't like that. Not very straight. I don't. Just a good size. So I'm not taking them off the uh, chain part. See two yellows there. That's too too near each other. So I'm cutting bits here. Cutting little bits there. There we go. We'll put that on there. Put that down for a minute. We're over there. And there we go. So I shall. Spend an hour or something here. I'll show you when I get the long strips together. Okay? Now I've put this little bit of film inside in the middle here because them strips, I'm using them in the border of the lattice work, the crossway one I've done. Somebody commented on me to me and told me it was called lattice work, which makes perfect sense. Of course it does, but if you don't know, you don't know. So all them strips, I didn't put them in rows on top of which I was going to do. They're going in between two blue borders. So the rest of the film is about that. Okay, <laughs> let's get going again. I bought this blue fabric for the border of the, I call it crossways quilt. I've had to fold it in eight to fit on this little table that I've got. I haven't got a big table. So I'm hoping I'll be all right. I'm actually going to push that so I haven't, and then pull the top part so I haven't got too much of a, um, a gap. You see that move? Because that will give you the wrinkle in the middle of the strip. So I'm trimming off the edge first. Take the ruler out, try not to bump you. So I'll say I'm going through eight fabrics. I have ironed it, I just bought it. 
and it was the end of a roll. So I'll get that bit up there because get my way down here. Hopefully we'll get it all. So I'm going by the crease and my blade sharp now, let's hope. Stuck in a bit. What I might do is I've got another oops slipped. Got another cutter so I'll get that out of the box. I'm actually off my table here. Here we go. It'll be alright, it works out. So let me get my other cutter. I've got the cutters, I haven't tested them yet. So I'm gonna flip this over. I'm going to cut it three and a half because I want three inch. Got my ruler the right way. No. Let's turn it this way. Clutter in there. A couple of cutters there. I don't know which is a new blade. As I say, I've moved into a new house, so I'm not very organised with my stuff yet. I want to usually hang them on the wall. I might still do that. I don't care if it's my front room because I couldn't fit my sewing machine in and table into my bedroom. I've got a little table, but it's not big enough. Right, let's try this one. Three and a half. That's a bit better. What I'll do is just gently put it away there from the right hand side. My right. Come on over there. Got her. So that'll give me two strips, which will probably be long enough for the whole quilt because it's not a very big quilt. Just gonna cut this one. It's gonna go up so it's not over flapping here and I'm knocking against it. Three and a half bell. Good old hand on it and gently do it. Put it under the bit there. There you go. See, that didn't come away, so I can still do that. You see, that's what I do. Pull it gently there. So, them two are enough for the first outer border. Now I'm going to cut. Another two, but I don't know if that would do, by the time I add a fancy coloured little piece of border, obviously I'm going to border, a little thin piece of colour there, and then this blue border. I'm just get myself lined up again. I used the yellow one, didn't I? That's screwed very well. Dear. Alright, we're not panicked yet. I've got another one. No, I haven't. I've got a blade in that. Well, I'll have to stop and fix this. Okay, screwed it all back together. A rough edge there. I'll return that. I should do this a little bit more than three and a half actually, because I've got a rough edge where I made a mistake. Easy done. No, still because it's I'm going through eight layers. That's why it's so hard. And I'm at the end of the table here. I'm not trying to move. Oh, much success. Oh dear Bell. See, we all make mistakes. We all can't do it. I'm, I, sh I would have been better at cutting it that way. I was thinking of a camera. That's what it was. Thinking of a camera. Three and a half. See, I've allowed that allowance. Not really slipping. I have got grips on it. I haven't got grips down here, actually, when I look at it. 
amateur. Right, Bill, get my three and a half. That's it. It's because it's, again, I'm going to say it's because it's so, so many layers. But it'll work out. So that's the two borders done. So I'm going to sew this blue border that we cut earlier onto the long seam first, uh, the long side of this quilt top first, okay? I don't like this. I've got the right glasses on, I've got different glasses. <laughs> uh, top of my head's gone, see? That's the thing. So, we shall carry on with this quarter of an inch again. It's always quarter of an inch. I've got a caught under my foot. Not much good. I haven't got a little table at the side here. It's over here. Because I'm in a different house, I haven't got the same layout. And I haven't got a room. I won't be able to get walk into my front room if I put something there. But we'll manage. Make do amend, as I say. I'm going to take that off again. I'm not quite but that edge doesn't look very straight so that doesn't help I didn't cut it that's what it is I didn't cut it cut the length didn't make sure the edges were straight oh, I can't be perfect all the time I've lost a pair of scissors I'm trying to keep my hand out of the way for you Way up here on the side of me. Just to make sure this doesn't drag. Drag, I'm sitting on the other side, sitting on this bit. You wonder how I make quilts, don't you? I know what you're thinking. How on earth do you make quilts, Bill? Some people might find this boring. Sometimes it's um, it's good to see it. What else are we going to do on a Monday afternoon? Especially our soldiers. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, but yeah, we're retired, so. Most of my viewers are over 60, so sorry for you youngsters there. Uh, YouTube gives you the stats. I do occasionally look at that kind of thing. Ah, I reached 700 subscribers yesterday. Well done. You lot, well done. Thank you. Uh, yeah, get your friends, share share some of this to your friends and more will come in like um, I'm just enjoying it. There's no other reason. I'm just plain enjoying it And it gives me a reason, you know, okay, what's your idea today girl? <laughs> Plenty of ideas doing it's a different thing, isn't it? So I saw this one on Facebook, just a quilt top made. I thought, that's wonderful. Somebody asked me, what's it called? I have no idea. I did put in the description. I don't know what it's called. The block. So if you do know, please let me know. It's a bit bulky there. That's why I'm looking at it. I'm wondering if I can turn, yeah I can, I can turn that seam the other way, that would be better. And I'll 
show you when I get to the bottom what I do with the lappy bit, with the leftovers. I have a feeling I have to add an extra bit for the top, but no, no, it's shorter. Leave me alone. Thinking. Thinking aloud. So I should just go a little bit more. Then what I do, which you'll see in my other, I do it with Boris. Um, I don't do it with bias binder, do I? No, I do it with borders, but my, my borders I usually join. They're usually bigger on the diagonal. That's what I'm thinking. But anyway, forget what I've said that. So, hold that there. And make sure that's lined up there. Give it a little crease. Get your scissors. I can't find my ordinary ones. These are handy, but they're not, I'm not used to them. Apparently they're made for us with arthritic hands, see, my thumbs are going like, so you can use your palm there, yeah. So, we should sew that bit on. And one border. So I should do the other three and then show you me putting on the pattern bit, okay? So I've got the two side borders on, now we're going to do across the top. Here's the other side. So I just, I've given it a press. I was a good girl, gave it a press. <laughs> I keep doing that, I know, because I'm looking at myself in the camera. Right. Okay, matches perfectly. So all sorted out, comfortable. Nothing caught under the foot. That's a blue belt. A couple of stitches in, make sure everything's all right. Got a bit of a tummy, that's the trouble. There's not much room between there and the machine. <laughs> Make sure this is loose. This is loose and not caught in a table or hanging right down. It is over the quite far to my left, which you won't be able to see. You can see quite a fair bit, can't you? So match that up there. I might have a little bit of a, a little bit of overhang, but that's fine. It always works out. An eye with it as you get more experience. Not that I'm a, not that I'm professional by any means. So I'm sure that's okay. I don't want to stretch it. Yeah, I can feel it getting caught here with weight. Not that you can stretch that, but it's the, these triangles I'm worried about stretching. caught in the extension table. It's just one of them things because I haven't got a sunken in table. I'd love one. Absolutely would but uh, not able to do it. So we shall make do with what we got. Be happy with what we got. I'm very happy with what I got. It's a lovely machine. Half the world has a genome, or a genome. Um, it is a lovely machine. Be giant, right? Lay flat. That's it. Now I'm happy. Any bothering you? Sort it out. Try and sort it out. Life was like that, eh? Just 
Yeah, I'll sort that out. <laughs> My mental health, no, not easy. This is what gives me peace from my mental health problems. <laughs> Try to remember, you know, when you're down and you, know, you feel useless. Think what you've got, Bell. It's very hard. It's not easy by any means. I have a real problem saying, Bell, you're, you can do this. <laughs> charge you need to you need to have it to be told you know before it really sort of sinks in accept it by yourself I'll put this stuff in here because I want to get this nice and straight now I can see this isn't straight here yeah, I did no, I didn't cut that one, did I remember? I did cut these. That was a good girl. <clears throat> so you can see quite a bit there. So I should go over that. So let's line that up there. And that's lined there. And that gives me a nice straight edge. Get these scissors. I oh, know I call them scissors. It's got a C in it, scissors. When work works, you put you over there about that's it. Then you won't lose them like you lost the other pair. See, so I'm going to this overflap here. I'm going to go with my quarter inch grip above it. That's nice. And there we are. This is the corner. Okay, so I shall get on with the other side. I won't bore you to death with the other side. And I'll catch you when I'm putting the strips on. measured it of course it's not as wide as it is long so one cut so that's the only join I had there's a wee tiny bit down the bottom there which I can live with I do it all the time anyway join pieces usually buy it too short don't want to buy three yards you know for three inches of fabric just to get the length so we we'll get this the right way and we we'll put the last top and bottom on. Get myself a little bit organised here. Yeah, pretty pleased with this. And it is, hold on, what's the day? Monday? Look at the date. Yeah. Monday 13th of May 2024 and the subscribers are going up 
Thank you. I, I know I've said it before, or I might have done, unless I cut it out. Um, so it's 765 at the moment, and the comments are lovely, and they've told me the pattern. Lattice pattern. Makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> you don't know, you don't know. It's as simple as that, isn't it? Anything you love, you just don't know, you don't know. Then you feel numpty. So, last two border edges. Just making sure that I didn't trim that, so that's slightly over there. But we're fine. This fabric is not wood, I always say that. This is my son, he's starting to quilt. He's 45 year old and he's starting to quilt like, bless him. I told him he better not turn into K Facet. <laughs> he get better than me. Yeah. And I keep moving his glasses, they're funny glasses. So I wear bifocals as well, so that's always an issue. And I wanted to wear the purple ones on the purple hair. Haircut tomorrow. But, um, I've just seen a message coming, that's what it was. Yeah, I could use my elbow to move it as well. I'm going to go and buy the border today, but I've just nipped down, we've got a little local shop. We've just got some fabrics and what well, she takes a lot of courses for dressmaking kind of thing, clothes, so it's not my cup of tea. And something like that is um, handy to get. If I'd been in the big town, I only live in a small place. If I'd been in the big town, I would have got, I would have got black on black. So, I'm quite pleased with it. Well, I'm very pleased with this now. Took me a minute or two to pick it. Two blues and the lady that serves in there um, helped and gave her ideas as well. So. Usually I go with, like I said, I go with the flow. If it, if it takes my, yeah, there's two I was having a bit of debate about. Usually I think, right, that one. And, and I go with my instinct, so I do. And it usually works out. Well, hopefully. Hopefully you like it. Getting some nice comments anyway, uh, the colours. And I say it's Japanese fabric that. I made the Japanese quilt, didn't I, a, a few months ago, and I got bought some of this as well. So, well, it was me, but somebody bought it for my birthday and then decided they wanted one made for his girlfriend in the Philippines with Japanese fabric. And that's how I've done that Japanese one on, on the video. Partly, you know, I wanted her to see the process. That's why it's over quite a few episodes. I wanted to see her to see the whole process of making it. Um, I think that's quite nice. And she's pleased with it, so that's... And it, it's nice to know it'll be somebody's heirloom long after I've gone. Hopefully. On this side, it's a top really or bottom. Maybe a bit shorter. Is that a little bit shorter? I just about squeeze there. See, an inch, <laughs> an inch. Yeah. Just making sure I can see the underneath fabric again. You know. Did press these before I showed you, and for this reason as well, because I'm going to go over it. Keeps it all tidy. 
Leftovers. They're going something, won't they? Yeah, definitely going. I don't have this paper right, this one. I haven't got enough to go hold on to there. There we go. That is definitely not worth holding on to. There. No. Play the top border. There we go. Nice, isn't it? A bit better once it's pressed. Yep. So I should do the other one and show you this when it's finished. Oh,